What's up guys, Chad here from Elevations, and today we have a new type of video for you guys, it's not really a review, which I usually do, it's an update kind of video, um, it's the iOS 4.3 for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch video, uh, I'm going to be reviewing it, going over the new features, and uh, maybe the jailbreak info about it, so yeah, this just stay tuned This video is sponsored guys. by UnlimitedCase.com, they have name brand cases for all devices, but lower prices, use coupon code ELEVATIONS at checkout to receive 10% off your entire purchase, check the description for more information. First of all, um, this new uh, iOS features a multitasking gesture, um, but for now it's only for iPad developers only, but I mean, maybe later on, maybe in a few months or weeks, uh, they might release it to the public, but um, what this is for the iPad, let's say, you get four fingers, you put it on the screen, you can swipe through your apps, you can uh, swipe up and down so you can uh, view the multitasking tab at the bottom, and there's really cool features, if you have five uh, fingers, you just... Uh, push out and it will go to the home screen. So yeah, that's only for developers at the moment, but um, we'll hope to release that soon for the public. The next feature is the personal hotspot feature for the GCM iPhone 4 only, but I'm not really going to get too in-depth with that, but basically you can use your iPhone 4 for uh, internet connection to your computer. Um, one thing remember, if you guys go to the link in the description, you can view this article I posted on my website, elevations.com, which will show you all the information about all of this. Um, Second, AirPlay support for third-party applications. Not going to get too in-depth with that either. Um, Subscription-based apps for the App Store. And um, Nitro JavaScript engines for Safari. Basically, JavaScript upgrading. That's all it was. Um, they really just gave it a little bit of a push, uh, added some new features, and it's just running more uh, efficiently and smoothly. So, yeah, that's a good update to it. The next feature is something that people actually wanted. Um, it was the ability to change the function of the iPad switch to orientation lock or mute. Some people had different preferences, and I mean, I really would recommend getting the mute because I really don't care about orientation lock. But some people that have businesses, etc., uh, they use they want it to be for orientation lock. But um, right now, you can go to the settings and you can change it to both. And now, if you let's say you do orientation lock, you you double click the home button, you. Uh, swipe to the left in the small toolbar then that would turn into a mute button the little thing all the way to the left so um, that's a great new feature they added to it next is a big update it's a new iTunes home sharing feature and what that does is on your iPad you can go to iTunes and you can or not iTunes I think it was the library uh, I don't know which one and you can actually get all the music that's on your computer videos etc and bring it onto your iPad without actually having it on your iPad really just going through the connection from your computer that's, that's a really great feature uh, I think that's be the one I'm gonna use the most and obviously when iPad 2 comes out it's gonna gain uh, FaceTime support, GarageBand, PhotoBooth and more um, there's also been numerous system-wide improvements and changes which I'm not gonna really get in depth with because it's not really that important but they've had a little bit of changes uh, so right now go to the link in the description elevations.com will take you to an article I just posted uh, you can download iOS 4.3 for the iPhone 4 GCM only um, iPhone 3GS, iPad and iPod Touch 3 and 4G um, you just come right here and you go down here let's say you want the iPhone 4 come right here and download um, if you are currently jailbroken do not do this you will lose your jailbreak and there's no current jailbreak for iOS 4.3 but something you can do is back up your SHSH files and um, you can upgrade to 4.3. You won't be jailbroken, but then when you want, you can just check it out and then downgrade back to iOS 4.2.1, whatever firmware you have, and then re-jailbreak. So that's the only way right now. Um, if there's going to be a jailbreak coming soon from the iPhone dev team. We're just going to have to wait for that. Make sure to click the subscribe button above to wait for that feature. Uh, I will definitely upload a video right when that comes out. So uh, yeah, just stay tuned. Also, uh, if you have an unlocked iPhone, do not upgrade. If you upgrade, your baseband will change and your iPhone will become locked. So make sure you do not um, upgrade if you have an unlocked iPhone. Just wait for the iPhone Dev 2 to release and unlock for it. So yeah, that's all it is for the iOS 4.3. Thanks for watching. Link in the description to view the article about it. And yeah, um, that's Elevations. That's a wrap up. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Peace out, guys. Check the description for more information.